episode of Yamaha session so this is a very important episode for all of you because most of my subscribers were asking for fuel adjustment for Yamaha YPR125 to achieve best performance so today first I'm gonna elaborate you the whole induction system of Yamaha as well as how we will uh, how we will adjust the fuel uh, practically on the bike so we should begin here you know that uh, you have a filter box. Uh, I just told you in my th previous video about increasing horsepower by just removing the air duct. Now you know that Yamaha air duct just comes right in here, right? You all have seen this, and you just re remove this thing. So what happens when you remove this thing? Actually, the if you see the cross section of your air duct it has two small these square kind of holes that allow air to move into your engine uh, through the filter so you can see the area was too short of these combined two holes but now after when you remove this duct so what happens here uh, the cavity uh, the top of filter looks almost like this so you have the whole big area cavity now from which your air goes in and this total area is larger than this one so that's why uh, your performance increases because due to this great area uh, most of your volumetric efficiency at higher rpm just increase the graph sh should be like this after removing this that you assume that this is your rpm this is 500 suppose 2000 you go 4000 and 5000 and so on and this is your volumetric efficiency suppose that so after uh, with this duct the volumetric efficiency was just like higher at the start rpm range and gradually lowers at the top rpm red line towards the red line your volumetric efficiency decreases but what happens when you remove the air duct and now the same thing you have bigger area for air to flow towards your engine without too much restrictions like with this duct so your volumetric efficiency improves little bit at higher rpm you can see with the original one was supposed to be like going down with the duct and without duct it is improved at your higher rpm range so technically you don't feel difference in the starting range from 0 to 5000 rpm but you feel uh, that you have a punch of power at your redline rpm uh, say that 5000 to 10000 wherever your uh, limiter starts to control your engine rpm so now there's one more important thing i would like to share with you uh, I will just explain this volumetric efficiency to you in my next videos so that you may all know what is this exactly what this thing is so assume that this is your engine cylinder assume this is your engine cylinder that is the bore and this is the length of stroke Now, assume that you are running your bike at like 8000 rpm, it's the 5th gear, your engine rpm is 8000. So as per this, I just show you after removing duct, you have a better volumetric efficiency at your higher rpm and you feel the punch of power here. Now you see that, but at again at this 8000 rpm for example, you have better efficiency than duct, but still the thing is your cylinder will not completely fill with the air there might be some of pumping losses and your cylinder is not able to fulfill the whole capacity at such high rpm 
so but in comparing to this you have improved a lot after removing this duct so now it means that you have additional air over here for example this was the range when with the duct if your bike is having duct it will fill the cylinder to this level only all right at 8000 rpm for example at the 8000 rpm now but after removing duct you have more air into it all right suppose that after removing duct this is the area where your cylinder fills up to this level this capacity it means now you have this amount of extra air inside your cylinder this actually causes your power to boost up at this range now this amount of extra air means that you can add more fuel to enhance your engine power at high rpm so that's why I'm going to adjust my Yamaha's fuel. I'm slightly going to increase the fuel supply that will act as an extra fuel for this extra amount of air and this will result in a great power. So the thing is when you will have you will add this extra fuel into it, definitely it will it will cause a powerful combustion inside your engine at high RPM and will deliver you a high power. That will in turn again raise your horsepower up to somehow more than the original one so but the fact is don't take into account the efficiency and economy of this bike because uh, you see that this extra amount of fuel will slightly decrease your mileage if you are doing to 40 to 45 kilometers per hour with your standard bike a stock bike after doing this you might get in between like 37 to 40 you can see so I think this is not too much big difference between the stock one and this one so you will still have the most better result whatever you want and after the, when you will test ride your bike after doing this adjustment you will feel that there is something new into your bike so let's see how we will do this so guys now I will tell you how we will adjust the fuel here from the carburetor by using this single step uh, this is a short screwdriver I just made it myself at home uh, because you can see the distance over here is short and I need something that could easily access and have a probably good grip so that you can turn this to in the right direction. Before doing any kind of adjustment on bike, we should give a good warm up. At least uh, I'll just start this bike and let it on idle speed to warm up for about 5 to 6 minutes and then we will proceed to the proper step. Yes, now my bike is uh, probably at a good warm up after 5 minute run on idle speed. Now, uh, you can have a closer look at this short screwdriver. Uh, it's just because you can see the distance over here down uh, from engine to carb is less. So, you can buy the short one also from market but as well as if you have an old one in your home so you can just convert it into the short one. So, let's begin. You know that your pilot air screw, uh, air fuel screw is over here at this side. So what you have to do is just first insert your screwdriver into that hole like this. And probably you should check when it fits into the slot of your screw it will just stuck inside like this. Okay. And you will try to rotate it if it's hard then it's okay it means that your screwdriver has properly seated on the screw now the thing is first you have to mark one side of your screwdriver with a permanent marker this is called your reference mark you will know that how much amount of you you are turning your air fuel screw what you have to do is to turn your screwdriver in, towards this left hand alright you, where you can see my finger you have to turn from this to this direction by this you will just allow to the your screw to just open more space and therefore your more uh, more amount of fuel will go towards your engine so yes and one important thing that how much you have to turn it you only have to turn in between quarter or a half turn not a full turn remember quarter or a half turn this is my reference mark and I'm just let me show you. 
so now you can see I've just turned it uh, only a quarter of a turn I just moved it a quarter of a turn here is my reference mark once again before it was on this side now it has covered the one fourth of a circle this is enough amount this is enough turn uh, for the fuel all right uh, this will let you correct amount of extra fuel to flow towards your engine and now uh, you have the proper adjustment after removing the air duct remember you have to do this when you will remove your air duct from your filter with the air duct you don't have to disturb this thing all right and now uh, let's start it back and listen to the sound and you can check it so you have to just remember one more thing after when we will start this bike up we will level it to the right hand rpm till it reaches like 10000 rpm and you have to notice one thing that your exhaust shouldn't be giving the black smoke black smoke means that you are consuming extra a high amount of extra fuel that is useless alright so you must monitor that your exhaust should not throw up black smoke in case it does so you will just uh, close back a little bit more of your screw alright you have to close it so let's see does it throw the smoke or not 